Right, so we're in the TVR tomorrow now, second TVR of the uh, the last four races. In a crazy tight track, we get absolutely nailed against the wall there. Making our way through the pack nicely though. That was alright there. We've got the Z06 in front. And I don't know what car's just pulling away there in the first place. Okay. Oh, he's come back ahead again. Right, this has a lot better brakes than the um, Stingray does. First thing to note down. Can I get used to this car? Right, it doesn't power slide anywhere near as much. It's always nice going from the Stingray into basically any other car. But uh, I've driven that Z06, obviously, and that's a very nice car to drive as well. So, can we start driving well? Get used to this car. I know they take this bit horribly, so I'm going to go on this side, actually. This will pinch me against the wall, otherwise. What's in there? Is that the Noble? There's no way that's the Noble. I've got to see this, because if that's the Noble, that's mental. For sure I ain't catching that on the straights. Oh, okay, that's the wrong line through there. As soon as you accelerate up that uh, steep section that you just cannot turn afterwards. Right, we've got a task on our hands here. Can we catch the legendary Noble? Which I'm pretty sure it is the Noble. in the TVR tomorrow. I thought that no if that is the noble, I thought that would have absolutely flown away by now. With that acceleration. Oopsie. Too close to that barrier. Oh God's sake. Always oh, just tap it. And just getting it just gets in the way too much. That is the Noble. Oh, I've gone on the wrong side here. He's going to pinch me. Alright, that was my own fault there. Took him out. Was looking behind me. Have I just... Oh no, he's coming around there. Wow, I'm quite surprised that... Um, we were able to catch that Noble up so much. I know that section of track that we did overtake him on. None of the computers do that right. They go really slowly through there for some reason. But... Even so, I didn't think this thing would have the acceleration to keep up with it. So I'm shocked. But then again, maybe it hasn't got the low speed handling that you need for this sort of track. Because it's pretty technical. You need stability at the low speeds and just the ability to put the power down um, the lower speeds without power sliding. Maybe Noble doesn't do that so well. Maybe it's uh, not suited to this. That's two races in a row that I've managed to completely take out the opposition. So um, my driving style is getting adjusted to the takedowns. And I know they're not going to catch up through there. This might be looking like an easier win now. Much so than, well, much more so than the other um, race we just did with the Stingray. Right, so we've got two laps left. It's definitely a shorter race, this one. Going over there. I think that said four seconds behind. That's crazy. As soon as I saw that Noble, I thought that's it. It's game over. But considering we're five seconds ahead. Five seconds. I think they've got the balance of cars in this one. Maybe slightly wrong. But anyway, I'm getting... I'm thinking these are hard. And 
you know, getting all these street races done. But after this, we've obviously got the last street race, but then we've got... Um, I keep going wide every time there. I need to break earlier. So after this, yeah, we've got the, the timed runs, which aren't going to be fun. Um, that's going to be a lot of practice. It's not as easy as a street race where you just get in the car, learn as you go, and get lucky sometimes and maybe overtake the opposition. You've got to... In the time runs, you've got to learn the car, learn the track, and put in the, the best lap you can do. So that's going to take longer. And then, uh, last but not least, we've got the cone challenges, which are going to be absolute hell. And um, there's 20, 20 cone challenges, and I don't think I've done two different cone challenges in a row, because in the World Series they're quite nicely spread out, to be fair. So, doing them in a row is going to get frustrating. Especially, I tend to do four races at a time. Live commentary. You know, the sections. So, um, I don't think I'll be able to do them in the later stages for them cone challenges in a row. That is probably not going to happen. I'm going to have to split it up. And buy an extra box of controllers. Because, no doubt, some will be flying at the walls. I didn't really do that corner much better, I'll be honest. Just looking at the mini-map, how far are they behind? 6.4. This is bonkersly easy. It's this corner. They, they literally lose a couple seconds a lap on that corner. They must do. Or a second. But this car's nice to drive. Didn't drive amazingly well in that. But definitely well enough to beat them. One of the easier ones. Easiest one we've done so far. So that uh, Stingray one was the hardest. Then the, probably the first one was a bit harder than this one. And then this one was the easiest. But the Corvette actually overtook the Noble. Ten seconds behind the Noble was. But that's this one done, guys. So we'll move on to the final street race. Street race number 20.